you are using Busway anywhere in your building, you need to watch this video. Busway failures continue to occur in buildings on a regular basis, especially when it is run vertically in a multi-story building. Busway is usually sized to carry large amounts of power. When a typical arcing ground fault occurs, a large amount of heat is produced at the fault that can melt the busway conductors and the enclosure. The result can be a fire with water damage from sprinklers that open. This can subject your employees to serious injury and be catastrophic to your business. When you think about the differences between conduit and busway, you can see the busway vulnerabilities. Most busway is made in 10 foot lengths and has a splice every 10 feet. Additional splices occur when elbows are used. Busway takes up less room in the pipe chase because the flat, insulated conductors are stacked on top of each other. There is very little separation between adjacent phase conductors and ground. It is easy for spilled liquids to flow into the vertical splice joints and contaminate the exposed conductors inside. If the liquid does not cause an immediate shorter ground, it can start long-term corrosion in the splice connection. It can cause arcing across the plate conductors and create a high resistance joint that only gets worse with time. It is important to realize that busway is not maintenance free. It is electrical equipment just like your main switch gear, your panel boards and your transformers. Each type of electrical equipment including busway has recommended maintenance from its manufacturer. In addition, the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, or NEMA, has recommendations for busway and other electrical equipment. The busway manufacturer and NEMA recommend that busway be inspected on an annual basis or after a major short or ground fault. The splice bolts should be checked for proper torque values. Visual inspections for liquid contamination, discoloration, overheating, or other signs of deterioration should be performed. The busway should be cleaned using a vacuum cleaner and never using compressed air. Insulation resistance readings should be taken and kept in a logbook for trending. After the maintenance is performed on the busway, a thermographic scan should be performed on the splice joints while the busway is operating under load. Performing the recommendations of the manufacturer and NEMA will help to prevent a catastrophic failure of the busway and a major loss of power. Preventing the causes of heating and melting reduces the chance for a fire and water damage from fire sprinklers. It prevents personal injury to your workers and it avoids costly property damage. A maintained busway provides continuity of electrical service and continuity of your business. If your building has busway, you need to take action now. Determine the manufacturer of your busway and check their website for recommended maintenance. Also, refer to the NEMA busway maintenance recommendations for additional instructions. Make sure all busway maintenance is being performed at the recommended frequencies. If you would like assistance with this process, please contact your Hartford Steam Boiler Inspection and Insurance Company representative.